Time to go to uh Mega City One. I uh I, I saw Dread and it's not really a uh it's not really a remake, it's not really a reboot, man. They just they made a movie about the comic book character Judge Dredd. And um it's got Carl Urban, he play uh Doctor Bones and uh the Star Trek remake. Like I said, he plays Judge Dredd. It's got uh, Olivia Thurlby. She plays Judge Anderson. She a rookie. Lena Headey. She plays Mama, the main villain. And they're they're policing and patrolling Mega City One. You know what I'm saying? And they said in the movie it spans from like Boston to Washington D.C. So it's like it's futuristic. And then in the old one with Stallone, Mega City One, it looked like a ripoff of like some Total Recall, Demolition Man type shit. And, and this one, like, they don't focus on the city too much, but it it, just, it looks better than it did in the old. Um, now, Olivia Thoroughby, she's uh, an orphan who gets thrown into the judge system, and she uh, she has psychic powers, you know what I'm saying? So she plays Judge Red's sidekick, who's a psychic, and um, they, go, they go to investigate one thing, and then they get locked down in, like, the peach tree sector, and it's like it's a big ass two hundred score story skyscraper. Just like just like a neighborhood, you know what I mean? And it's run by Mama and her gang, and they end up they end up trapping Dredd and Anderson in there. And then the rest of the movie is they the judges is just trying to get free. And uh, I mean it's cool. Like if you're going in there for the script, you might as well skip it. Cause like it's got a weak ass script, but it works for the movie, and I mean it's cool. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a dude movie. It's, it's got guns, it's got blood, it's got violence. Um, and Mama, she like her and her gang is like this drug it's called slow mo. You know, what I'm saying you inhale it, and then everything goes like one percent of your normal your normal shit, and that's like. They manufacturing that throughout the whole city, and that's part of why Dread is investigating and being there. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, and Carl Urban, it stayed true. He stayed true to the comics because he never he never took his helmet off. And like Stallone, he only had his helmet on for like maybe twenty minutes of the whole movie. And Carl Urban didn't have that ego, you know what I'm saying? He said, oh, the, the audience got to see my face. So, like, it was dope that he stayed true to the shit. And um, I heard that uh, if this movie doesn't make $50 million, then they're not going to do a sequel. I really, really think that this deserves a sequel, so I recommend everybody go see it. Um, like I said, man, I recommend everybody go see this. And... um. I, I think Dread is not that one. Damn it. Um. So, like I said, man, go see this. I'm trying to go see End of Watch in the next few days. Um, rap's coming soon. Brother Ali review, good music review, Blue Play Fiasco review, man. Stay tuned.